Hey there, everybody. Hello and welcome to Relaxed Mail Review. All right, so it is uh, time for yet another wonderful and fun review. Got another piece of camping equipment uh, and that we're going to be talking about, and it is the uh, Coleman Trailhead 2 Military Style Cotton. That's what we're going to be talking about today. friends hello and welcome to relaxed mail reviews all right so this month we are talking about a new piece of equipment that i got and this is the coleman trailhead 2 cot uh and this is a pretty cool thing to uh to have because um honestly you got uh fogies like me <laughs> who uh i can sleep on the ground i wake up uh, just fine on the ground getting around moving after being on the ground well, that, that's a that's a different creator altogether. So, um, there are um, lots of different uh, ways that you can actually handle getting yourself up off the ground. Um, and I remember growing up sleeping on a cot from uh, several times. Now there were also several times I slept on a banana lounger. You know those ones that fold, that are three folds and you can lay them out. Girls used to use them for sunning, but you, they're banana loungers because they were just, they were, they, they were banana loungers. So, but anyhow, um, slept on those several times, but the problem is, is that the bottom legs would fold over on, on themselves. And so eventually what would happen is a kid getting himself comfortable and turning around, one leg would fold up on you under, uh, unexpectedly and you'd be on the ground. This doesn't happen with this puppy right here. Um, and uh, it is a bit of a... Uh, a uh, bit of a uh, of a win for me because I've uh, been talking about getting a cop for a while and I actually was able to get one. So, <laughs> um, one the first thing I've noticed whenever I got a hold of this uh, is um, this is not for the ultralight guys. Now, unless your ultralight defines that you are able to carry something that is over twenty pounds, because guess what, this puppy is twenty pounds. It is a not a lightweight frame in the least. Um, of course, it is designed to hold a 300 pound dude. Now, I'm not 300 pounds, but I am too close to go for a 200 pound item. So, um, I wanted to opt for the larger, heavier duty st uh, style just so that, uh, you know, I didn't, uh, you know, fall through it or all of a sudden have it rip in the middle of the night. So, so uh, we're going to be. Take, uh, talking about this, all right. Uh, so let's uh, let's first, as always, let's do a setup. All right, to set up a cot, it's not hard at all. Uh, it is basically three pieces. You have the t the cot. You have two cross members, one, two, and then you have the cot itself. The cot is easy to set up and set uh, and take down basically all you have to do is you have to fold it out you have legs on the bottom that swing around for each end like that stand it up and you are now 80 percent of the way finished now and I will uh, now I, as I was doing reviews, one of the things everybody was talking about was the cross members. They were like, wanting to know, is it hard to get the cross members on? Um, and I will tell you, they're not easy. Um, what you want to do is you actually, to get the cross members in, is you have a sleeve on one side, and there is a hole on, on each end. And there is a tab on the end of each of the, uh, uh, at the end of the, the long uh, supports, and you just fit, a, fit that in. This end, no problem. To get to the other end, or to get the other end set up, you have to have a little bit of a, a little bit of patience and a good bit of strength. So anyhow, again, you've got 
a hole and a hole. You have a hole and a hole. So on each end there's a hole. On each end here there is a kind of a little tab that that hole sits right in. There's one on each inch side. There we go and there we go. So to put the uh, to put the other half side on again thread it through the end connect to this side and it will fit. Now what you have to do after that is you have to go and you have to apply some gentle pressure. Now a lot of people will get just far enough and won't be able to get it over the tab. What you have to do is just apply a bit more and you have to actually get a little physical with it and it'll fit. And so that's all there really is to, to getting this puppy set up. Um, as you can tell it is a military style caught. It sits, I don't know, maybe a foot off the ground. Um, one of the questions people have though is does it make sound when you're laying on it? Yeah. As you scrunch around, this thing's going to creak and groan, which will do, which is going to happen for, uh, because, well, you've got this, this nylon, and that's what this is, uh, the, the sleep mat is made out of. It's, it's going to creak and it's going to groan as it rubs. So what else do we know about this uh, particular cot? Well, it, one, it's nylon. Uh, this, though it is nylon, there's not, it's not off-gassing. It doesn't smell like vinyl, which is what a lot of people actually fear uh, when they hear that it's plastic, uh, uh, plastic material. They're like, oh, they, I've seen a lot of people who question and wonder, well, does this off-gas anything, uh, any cancerous fumes? No, okay, it doesn't stop. If you're if you're worried about cancerous fumes and stuff, and you're in that much worry about stuff, dude, you've got other things to worry about before you're ever going to be able to relax outdoors. Um, which getting outdoors is great, but I mean, come on, you've got more you've got more plastic. I've got more plastic around me right now. I am literally a boy in a plastic bubble, because it's all plastic. No, <laughs> from the netting to the walls to the floor. The only thing metal is the uh, is the is the uh, the tripod that the camera's standing on, and uh, and the frame of the cot. Everything else is is uh, is pretty much just plastic. So don't don't be worrying about uh, your the frame uh, or the uh, the material. You know, off gassing anything. It doesn't smell. It's a, it's nylon. It's like I said, it's not uh, it's not vinyl, uh, so it's not going to be you know it's not some type of polyvinyl material. The whole sleeping area itself it runs at about 75 inches from from here to here to 30 from here. Plenty of room. If I'm six foot two, so it gives me you plenty of room. Now, I'm, uh, if you are a sleeping bag and uh, top and and pillow person you're going to end up uh you're going to have to, probably going to have to have your feet hanging off the edge because your pillow is not really going to have much space to sleep in it to, to rest on uh but that that's the worst uh detail that i've been able to come up with then shoot um if you need to say you spill some coke on here or something you can basically you, you, when you get home just i would just set it up Take a water hose after it, spray it down, take a little stiff bristled brush. Not a hard bristle, but you know, just something like what you would scrub uh, uh, scrub fabric with, a fabric brush, and just get and scrub that up and out and uh, just use your typical dish washing soap and uh, you won't have a, uh, have a problem. Uh, I've always liked Coleman. Uh, Coleman does a, uh, makes quality items. If they didn't, then they wouldn't be around for the you know bajillion years they have been around as of so. But anyhow, uh, we're going to be uh, giving this puppy a, a its workout tonight. I'll be sleeping out in the uh, in the tent. Going to do another bout of backyard camping. I'm not sure if I'm going to count this towards my goal or not, but you know, still we'll we'll work on that as we come. Um, so. So, one of the things people would worry about is whether or not uh, the feet will go through the tent, uh, the tent's floor. A lot of people actually also worry about whether or not the 
feet on the on the cot would actually go through the tent floor. There, it's a rubber, uh, it's a rubber foot. So no, I am not. I wouldn't see this as going through. If you do have that worry, uh, buy yourself some uh, some just some wooden coasters. You know, get some that are decent size and set them underneath that. That way, you apply a larger surface area. Uh, uh, give it a larger surface area for the uh, for the legs to set on and press on and you will definitely won't be doing any damage that way uh, also just make sure that you're not setting it up down on a rock or something like that because as you get around and you're sleeping and, and stuff it's I love that sound mix um, so so yeah great kill uh, this is gonna be great for your base camping if you are wanting to go out to say uh, the Grand Tetons and you're wanting to go camp out uh, on the, or you're wanting to go out and camp in, on the prairie or someplace like that this is uh, this is the, the cot for you now as you can see I am in the large seven person tent I can set this long ways and I have some room at the foot now let's go see how well this works in a little three person tent all right Let's try that. Okay, so we're now over here in the uh, at the Tetragon HD3, and pull that up. You'll see. Yes, it will fit barely. I mean, it is. It's up against the. Uh, the base it is up against the base so yes it will fit inside of the three-person tent it's not going to do so uh, uh, if you have a whole bunch of equipment but if you are just wanting to if you're solo camping and you just want to have be up off the ground then by gosh this isn't a bad idea this is uh, I was actually kind of worried as to whether or not this was going to work uh, because it uh, I knew that whenever I laid in the in here, um, I was you know edge to edge. So I I figured getting this in here, we're going to be either edge to edge or maybe edge to just a little bit of edge, and it might bow uh, the walls out just a little bit. And yeah, okay, it does a bit. As you can see, the frames right there, it fits barely. Uh, it works. It works great. Yeah, you're going to be uh, huffing and puffing when you get to the uh, get to uh to your campsite because well you know that's you're carrying 20 pounds just for one piece of equipment so you better want to make sure that you are where you want to be and that uh you're not hiking you know 30 miles in or you've got some really good strong uh, you, you've really done some course uh strengthening because you're going to end up you're going to really want to have a uh, uh you're really going to be huffing and puffing by the time you carry all your stuff plus the tent so you know third fourth fifth trip is you're gonna really uh, be hating life and be ready for a beer so anyhow all right folks I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna let you go this is a nice little short review because well this is a nice short quick easy thing to do um, and uh, I enjoy this if you are looking for a cot the, the trailhead to the Coleman trailhead 2 cot is a great cot to get um, it is a, uh, like I said, later on tonight, uh, I'm going to be uh, camping in the, uh, in the, in the cot itself, and I will be letting you know uh, what it, what it's like. Uh, will my uh, sleeping pad fit on top of it? Which honestly, I believe I have no problem with that. Uh, the sleeping bag will probably fit just fine on that too. So, uh, because it's meant for a six foot four person, so. It'll have a little bit of drooping, maybe, but uh, that's just fine. So, anyhow, all right, folks, that is uh, the Coleman Trailhead 2 uh, cot. Okay, all right. So, say after the end of the hard, long, hard lived uh, thought uh, weekend, it is time to uh, get everything all packed up and ready to go. How hard is it to actually take this guy down? Because sometimes it seems like it's easier to put stuff up, put a tent up that it is to actually take it down. So that's what we're going to show today. Again, when it comes to uh, uh, whenever you hear X style, this is what they're talking about. See this, uh, it makes a, an X, which makes it, makes this a lot stronger when it comes to actually supporting a person like this because your weight is 
is being distributed a lot more evenly on the on the ground so you don't have to worry so much about uh, you know falling through your the weight you push down is actually also the weight that uh, your weight is actually what's the force that is forcing it out so you're not going to sag in the middle as you try to sleep okay so taking this down taking part first one is going to be the, always the toughest because that is where all this is your watch tens, tensioning everything up but just a little bit of a tug and it comes up and out and then there you go once the first one's done the second one is, is a breeze and so quick tug and everything folds down now the thing I like to do is just make sure that all everything is you know laying nice and flat we don't have any weird kinks or folds or anything in there because well that's not the best thing in the world for plastic uh, fabric or or anything else like that but anyhow from that you just take one leg fold it up and around take the other leg fold it up and around and then you just fold it in two now you have you will have a couple flaps hanging out whenever you do it want to make sure I can get them shown nicely all right best thing to do is if you're taking your time and you're not in a big hurry then just take them and wrap them around take that the extra flap which is the uh, the, the bed itself and wrap it around you can take the two cross members set them inside and just lay it over from there, it's uh, just putting it in a bag. I want to make sure I got it right. If you ever forget, one of the cool things, apparently they knew I was going to be grabbing one of these. Sew the instructions into the bag so you will, won't ever go off and forget how to actually uh, put it together or take it apart. So, very smart on Coleman's, uh, on Coleman's uh, uh, part. And... I haven't quite ha figured out how to gracefully put this on, but not near as hard as one would like to think. Okay. You know, it's like I said, not, not sure how to put that and do all this gracefully as of yet. Once you get her in there, maybe you wouldn't like that. Yeah, that just slid right in there, just fine. So that might be the way you do it. Don't even worry about putting the poles in, the cross members in until you've got everything else done. Close your up. You got a support uh, shoulder strap for the uh, on the bag, which is very helpful when you're trying to carry stuff. So there you go. That's all there is to it. Uh, you've got your, you now got your bag all, your cot all set up, stowed, and ready to go. So there we go. Um, have, like I said, have any questions or anything like that? Uh, post them down in the uh, comment section below. Okay, folks. Uh, next day, and um, got to spend twenty, uh, spend a night on the uh, on the cot. And I, and uh, the, the, I have to admit, the Coleman Trailhead 2 is an, an incredibly comfortable cut. I tried it with a, uh, uh, with a uh, sleeping pad on it. And uh, because it's sleeping pads, plastic, this is plastic. Uh, and the outer shell of my sleeping bag is plastic, 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 plastic. It makes it about like ice. So eventually I just kind of toothpasted the, uh, <laughs> the, the pad out and it was on the floor whenever I, uh, on uh, of the tent whenever I woke up this morning. But, um, wow, makes a difference, I tell you. Just even if, even though this is, you would think this is, really hard I, fi I figured I was gonna be fighting keeping my pillow on the on the headboard 
on the head of the cot and no no problems whatsoever it was an amazingly nice easy rest so um fixing to go finish putting the uh, tent up because i had once i started folding everything up i realized that a lot of dew had condensed underneath and so uh it's uh it's a little damp right now and i don't want a mildew to form so uh we're letting that dry and we will uh get that uh rolled up and put away and it will be a, another successful uh camp out though uh, though it was a, a backyard camp we'll be doing uh uh here soon i'm going to go out and do a couple more uh uh, weekend camping trips, uh, maybe even do two nights in a row. Ooh. We're gonna try that sometime. So, <laughs> anyhow, if you have any questions, comments, or anything like that, please leave them in the comments below. If you like this video, please give your uh, give the uh, uh, the thumb up like and like the video. If you like this whole channel, then go ahead and follow. Uh, click the subscribe button and if you really 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 like it go ahead and mash that uh, bell icon that way you get a notice every time I put out a new video so folks uh, thank you again for everything uh, we will uh, talk to you here soon so till then bye